In key stages three and four, students perform experiments that show them that copper doesn't appear to react with acid. Part of the point of introducing a reactivity series is so that you can later on develop this into the electrochemical series. So when it gets to A-level, it makes sense to show students that copper will actually react with some acids. In fact, its reaction with nitric acid can be particularly impressive, as we'll see here. There's more to an acid than a bunch of dissolved protons, after all. So this experiment is a twist on a classic. You'll need 5 grams of copper turnings, and 40 millilitres of concentrated nitric acid, and a 1 litre borosilicate flask. Round bottoms is preferable, as you can see the reaction better, but if you need to get a thick walled borosilicate flask, a Buchner flask may be a suitable alternative. Immediately we begin to form NO2 gas above the copper nitrate that's formed. I've got a delivery tube here that's feeding into a one litre flask of water. The glass wall is there to minimise diffusion of any of the toxic NO2 that doesn't dissolve, and as such you can perform this experiment without the use of a fume cupboard. As the reaction cools, the gases inside the flask will contract, drawing some water back from the conical flask. This is where additional steps have been taken to minimise risk. There's a small chance that the reaction flask could be damaged by the rapidly changing temperatures which follow the addition of the water. As such, if this experiment is performed in the open lab, both students and the demonstrator should be protected by safety screens. A trough or bowl is placed underneath to contain the mixture in case of any leaks. I've placed a small LED light in mine to help the camera pick up the colours. When the water reaches the reaction flask, the NO2 dissolves in and reacts with the water, and the pressure drops still further, leading to a fountain effect. The colour goes from a greenish colour to a blue one as the incoming water ligates the copper ions. Once complete, you can give your students a relevant selection from the electrochemical series and get them to explain why the copper would react with nitric acid, but not with hydrochloric acid. There's also some relevant points to be drawn out about ligand effects in the spectrochemical series, if you've covered this.